Hi everybody and today I am back with Mixed Day Training once again. Let's have fun and let's go! Okay. Uh, I'm muted, but I want to pause as well. You can unmute. Boom, boom, boom. Hello, hi, Karma. How are you doing? What's up? It's already Thursday, by the way, guys. Right? Hold on. It's already Thursday, so two more days and uh, well, it's uh, just one more day, and then it's weekend. Very cool. Oh, and I got an opening immediately. Lens Polo Pat uh, Patatine it's from Italy. Also, just back, just lazily watching how you train. <laughs> okay, okay. Lens Polo Patatine is from Italy. Good luck. You played 5,700 5, rapid games. That's a lot. And he plays Vienna. Eh. C6 works, right? Because if bishop c4, c6, knight c3, knight f6. 6, c6 works. Yeah, no, d5. Tick, tick. Yeah, if I can remember, I go here. And then if he takes, I take gf. If I'm not mistaken, I of course can be. Can I g2? Yeah, he took. Uh, I think it was good to make him take. I think. <laughs> um, yeah, well, now we'll see whether it was actually good or not. Can okay, I have a good g file, I guess? Do you develop my bishop to e7 and then go like one side? Yeah, I think it's actually maybe a good idea. Seems like this in an one side castle. Yeah, that's right. Just like bishop c5, bishop is good, sure, but it's somewhere out of place, right? He goes f4. Bishop e7 wasn't good, and I should have played bishop c5 pre went in a form. Not sure. Um, hold on, but queen d7 f5 takes. Rook f5, I'm fine. I d5, I think I'm fine. 27 preventing a 5, I hope is okay. Okay, he took. It takes. So, flat line. A oh, very. Not sure. <laughs> mm. And takes. And then bishop c5. Yeah, pinning him. If knight b5, I get a6, knight here, don't I get this? I guess he gets c3. Hmm. I mean, it's very spicy. No fun there. Mm. I should have something, you know, but I'm not really sure if I do. Should be for C3. Eh. <laughs> Ship g4, c3, boom, I take, 
cd queen is 6 or if the question is what if he just ignores me and if I take like rook e1 um, hmm. that's what I'm unsure of No, it's just castle. King h1, bishop g4. If he takes queen c6, eh, miniature. Here, here, queen c6. Yeah, it should be okay. This, knight c6, queen c6, rook s I get rook 8 queen d3, rook 8 as well. And it should be quite okay. If something, I just get bishop e6, and the bishop protects both the pawns. Yeah, he takes. Okay, b takes c, eh. It's not bad, but queen c6 just feels more powerful. Knight d4 though, bd1, oh no, knight d4, queen g6. It's an interesting idea. Queen d2, I don't know, can be, yeah, I think queen c6 should be okay. Hopefully. And if rook f7, of course, I get rook h8, I think. And, eh, and then I'm not sure how he can protect this. All right. Yeah, queen d3. Hey, Nichtel, how are you? D4 is like... I'm good as well, thanks. D4 is like tempting somewhat-ish, you know? Queen can't join the attack. Uh, because otherwise if I play rook 8, he gets an D4. Where, where has my initiative gone, right? So D4? I sack f7, I go rook e8, for example, right? Uh, he moves his knight somewhere, and then she, I think, I mean, maybe I'm too optimistic, but I'll go for d4. It's it's like more, more stuff. Because rook e8, sure, knight d4, I get queen g6, we trade queens. Somehow, somewhere, I can overgrind it, maybe, or maybe not, even not. Um, but this is more ambitious. Because, like, I'm not sure which king is weaker, you know? My king isn't so weak, but I hope it can hide on b8 if needed. What about rook h8 now? And if rook e1, don't I get rook e3? I like that. Rook e1, rook e3, he takes d. Oh, that's terrifying, I think. At least I would be terrified I'd be him. Also, bishop h3 somewhere in the air. Uh, so rook f7, I guess. Maybe I just sack a pawn for no reason. Hi, hey, Yachi says, how are you? It's definitely more spicy and more interesting to play now. There's something in the air, yeah, yeah. Good on you. I'm good also, thank you. Hello, is everything good? My name is... Ah, okay. <laughs> and that makes sense. <laughs> I was like, what's in the air? Did I blunder someone with tactic? <laughs> Hopefully not. Uh, okay. Okay. <laughs> it's a nice one. Bishop f7. Wow. I thought you had to take with the rook. I guess it works. Sure, queen g6 is the idea. Interesting. <laughs> Should I play bishop h3 avoiding queen trade? Because rook e3, queen g6, I think queen trade is unavoidable, is it? Bishop h3. I'm a queen of three. Mm. Ay, 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 yeah, bishop of seven. Nice move. Ay, ay, 
है They're just psychopon for no reason. This looks like it. I need to hurry. I guess queen d6, bishop d7. If takes, takes, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I am. Bishop c6, at least now bishop is, I hope, somewhat better. I in g2. Because it can be dangerous at some point, you know? Um, of course, I, I said something like two moves ago, the same thing, and then uh, we got a queen trade. <laughs> but hopefully this is going to be more dangerous. So this bishop f3. If I go d3 and take idea rook d2. I need to play quicker. I guess d3, I don't know. Then maybe not pre move rook d3, rook e d3. Maybe I'll take d d3, preventing bf3. Hmm. Yeah, rook d d3 actually looks more, more interesting. Because this, you get bishop f3. Now you have bishop f3, I can take rook f3, rook f3. Or maybe rook f3, bishop f3. By keeping the initiative. Ah, uh, yeah, rook c1. And uh, now bishop f3. Pfft. Oh my goodness, and I have no time. This guy's six minutes. Thank you so much for the follow. D V U U K uh, O O K. Enjoy stay here in the fun. King D eight. What's the point? Because now I can move my bishop and avoid the trade, I think. Okay, rook trade. Um, yeah, I have to. Then can c7. Alright, but not two bishops, you know. In them upon them, they, they, can, they can do something. I guess he just has bishop f3 and maybe they won't do anything, but... <laughs> gotta, gotta try, you know. I wanted a pawn. Okay, get bishop a4 there. Uh, yeah, bishop a4, bishop b3. It still can be tricky. Takes, takes, rook e3, rook b3, push a pawn. Eh, I'll try. If you allow rook e3, you can play like that one. Or B4. Now B4 you just take. Rook B1, E5, I guess. You can see some charm. You can see 6. B4 he takes. Important. You cannot take his back rank. Um, let's go Rook D5. Cutting off his knight. I was thinking if Rook D2. But no, and if b4 I get like bishop b6 still keeping the knight cut and like king b5 for d4 in turn. Here, um, rook d3, king b4 takes. My ideas, maybe. Let's see. This is somewhat stuck still. Maybe b2 is an interesting move. <clears throat> Before. Um, 
takes. It's getting tricky. It's gonna get spicy. Um, push. Yes, push, 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 push. Then bishop d4. Five. Idea would be two. The minus spurs. Through b two should nah. I think that's a good move. Idea just to push, you know. Maybe I shouldn't have been greedy, but I think it's okay to take, to give him at least less chances to push by himself. Do you think Italian game is good? Uh, it's quite good. Ah, this is in the air. Oh my goodness. Uh, should be 3, King, C4. I would have played this, but then, like, I don't know, King of 3, Knight, D3. Because now my bishop protects the a5 pawn. So king c4. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay, push. I'm not sure if pushing is good. Because knight e4, rook c6, knight e Or rook c6 now. Uh oh. King b3. Here, king c2, king e2, I don't know. This bishop b4. Mm, maybe it wasn't good for him actually to do that. Knight d3 on the other. Oh, wait, it goes here. Uh -huh. If I just push. Okay, a2. a2. Oh, knight c1. What am I doing? Just play rook b1 and win it. Oh, he missed it. Oh my god. But maybe he still has knight c5. <laughs> ah, what am I doing? I messed up. Okay, can see 12. Try to win this somehow. No, but I was completely win. Just be more, more careful. Check. F4. Uh, here. And a blunder bishop. Oh, yeah, that was a terrible game. I mean, I played well, but then I just messed up so much. <sighs> yeah, I, I played so well, like, even in time trouble, and, like, suddenly I made two huge blunders. And, yeah. a draw but I have no time. Maybe not a draw, I don't know. It's not a draw. Yeah, I'm losing Polo Patatin. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's a really good game, but uh, I could have played much better. I mean, I was I was winning here for sure. Uh, wasn't? Okay, Rook C to Rook B1 actually doesn't win. It felt like I was much more better than I actually was. Hi, Marco. Uh, and yeah, okay, of course you better don't blunder your bishops like that. I was way too interested of winning, winning uh, yeah, his pawns, but I missed that. Yeah, I thought I was winning, actually. I thought it was like plus four or something. What have I got from the opening, though? Uh, did this take, take? I had to push d4 myself. I had to push d4 all the time. Okay. Why is the game not analyzing? I'm not sure. Hi, Uh Then. Okay. It was all the time pretty much equal. Then I got this slightly better position, then I got this plus one position. And then, yeah, I get the draw, but I didn't want to draw. I lost.
it just skin c4 yeah i rook b1 felt better but then rook a6 is the same idea so i had to go rook c2 boom boom and then i'm winning yeah so rook c2 was wi was winning uh but yeah rook c2 was was the only move and i didn't even calculate it to be honest uh i don't know why the game isn't being analyzed by the way probably a bug but yeah rook c2 is a nice move and even here I had rook c2. Huh. b6 here. Hey, okay. Yeah, it's rook c2 here as well. But I missed this idea completely. I don't know why. I was thinking like rook b1, that's what I played, but I missed rook c2. I also don't, don't allow knight c1. And I, and I also keep the pawn protected. And that would be win, and I would win. We'll go on to win most likely. Well, as the game has not been analyzed, then I guess I'm going to play another game. Because I don't know how long we can even... Maybe we'll have to wait for like half an hour. Uh, and I got an open immediately and playing Snizzle Goop. Hello, good luck. So I don't know. Played him two months ago. Oh yeah, okay. Remember this game? F6? Oh, okay. Yeah, and he goes for this Catalan. He went for like weird, right? Or something like Queen C2. Last time we got something crazy. Did you go like A4? No, but A4 is a main line. I'm sure, but last time. Ah, yeah, he goes for this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and that's where I was thinking for a lot of time. I think the B5, C6 isn't bad for black here, is it? Or I'm confusing lines, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just confusing lines. Yeah, previous game, I don't know why it's just not being analyzed, guys. <laughs> Interesting. Okay, b3. Takes bishop b7. And yeah, these are some types of positions where black are fine. No, white are kept put, but they're for very good compensation. And somewhat, because white has more space, it's somewhat more uncomfortable for black to play it. Should I trade the bishops? And I think black at some point may just sag the pawn back so that they get more more play, more active pieces. Uh, take boom, boom, if, 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 knight c6, bishop c6, queen c6 is there. And I'm not so sure. Okay, 7, knight b5, otherwise I will say pawn. I get queen e7 though, but still takes to eh, eh, knight yes, knight b5. So takes, takes, maybe I should go like queen e7 there. Rook a c1 isn't playable, so... Yeah, I think I'll take an in queen e7 or something. Should be okay. And then knight bd7 can be an idea, because I already spent one tempo less... One less... Yeah, one... One less tempo. I'm not sure if that's the correct way how to say it, but yeah. Something like that. Mm. Queen e7 or queen b6? Mm-hmm. So queen b6, I protect the pawn. Queen b6, queen c5, here. Yeah, queen b6 actually looks quite interesting. Hmm. Yeah, queen c5, I think I should be okay. And I think I have knight b7. Takes, takes, I'm ready to suck the pawn back for. You know, I already defeated him once, totally journal. So it's possible. What's up, by the way, totally journal? No time to see. It was an interesting game. I, I, I had a nice attack at the end. Yeah, I remember this game. It was two months ago, guys. It was literally two months ago. But it feels like I played it like two weeks ago. It's just unbelievable. <laughs> I don't know. 
five. Okay. Now I think after some time it's just gonna get analyzed. I, I, I think I already had it, and and it 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 the problem solves itself over like twenty minutes something. And as I'm playing a new game now, it is I'm not in a rush to analyze. Plus, all these commands, it can be like alter four, I'm not sure. I never checked on controller five, to be honest. So it can be alter four and I may get trolled or something. So I, I, the problem should pass. I mean, if not, I will just download the PGN and then license chess base. Not a big deal. Yeah, so the idea, if he just goes knight c5, I take dc, queen c7, rook d6, rook d8, uh, and rook d1, I get like knight e8, I think, take 6, I mean, I'm just a pawn up. It's not out of 4. I don't want to check. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to check. I'm fine. I'm still playing the game, so there is no rush uh, for uh, me to analyze the previous game, you know. The problem should solve itself. If not... Have you tried to turn down uh, for what? What do you mean? Yeah, but this like type of position, computer says it's zero zero. But if like why doesn't somehow play super like first line, right? If they don't get like super good compensation for the pawn, I mean, I think black is just better, right? Because like, why does a pawn down at the end of the day? A little Johnson, okay. Do you think, eh, I don't think so. Because like for a win I get plus five and for a loss I get minus 24. So if I win, I mean, it is possible maybe in like seven years, uh, but like, if I win five games and lose one, it's like all the week which passed already. Just, no, well, yeah, it's just, nah, it's quite impossible, I think. It is possible people have done it, but it is very hard. But maybe at some point, I'm not sure. Yeah, this game is just not... Leech just doesn't like analyzing. <laughs> Leech just doesn't like analyzing we analyze, it seems. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Play a rapid marathon. Eh, I'm fine. I, I, I'm, I'm not in the like, rush for aging or something. Let's go rook d8. I think it should be okay. Just just developing, then maybe rook a c8, c5. You think you'll get... I think the max is 2500, right? <laughs> so, 3000, maybe in 20 years also. Uh, it's possible, possibly. Ah, uh, rook a c8 should be just fine, right? If this, I get c5, I think. Oh, no, I don't get c5, but I mean, it should be fine. I get my d5 at least. Takes, I'm fine. Uh, uh. This is general. Yeah, exactly. Very good advice from Marco, guys. Nope. There you go. I'm not. That's what I say. Yeah, very, very good scene, actually. Very, very cool and very, very nice. Which is rich. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, Marco is saying very wise words if you want to progress in chess. A5, I don't know, it's tempting. Though I know it'll weaken up. It's like a move, the response you cannot move backwards, right? So. 95, take, take, knight c5. B4 is there. And I like knight d5 more. Because like queen d2, I think c5 works there. Ah, queen e1. Okay, so does c5 work? c5, take, 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 I think it works. If e4, knight f6, I think it works, right? 
A, 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 A. Although knight of six, take, take, take. Then I should play rook d1, queen d1, then rook c5. I think it works. Take, take, take. Take, take. Oh no, wait, maybe. No. Mm, oh my goodness. It's like so many variations. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Mm, mm, mm. Here, there. E4, I get a. I think it works. I raised my bullet 150 points in just a few days, so all I took was. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's also possible. <laughs> it's also a good thing, I guess, guys. If you really want to improve your rating, you can drop it by the amount of points and you'll come back to the one you had. But I think c5 works unless I blunder because my queen kill will come back to f8 and his knight on a3 I think is a weakness as well. So in some variations I can take the knight, I think. Uh, maybe I'm blundering, of course. Uh, that's a force possible. Because now if, yeah, here knight f6, e5, knight d5, there I'm fine. If d c knight c5, rook c5, I'm fine. If knight c5, rook d1, this queen c5, I'm fine. Boom, boom, e5, take, take, knight d5, I'm fine. And if boom, 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 rook d1, queen d1, rook c5, takes, takes, e5, bishop g2, I think I'm fine after knight f6, I'm not sure. Once c5 to f8 is a brilliant move. Maybe I'm under in the green by so much. <laughs> pawn can move like that. Wait, did I say pawn from c5 to f8? Oh, sorry, I don't know. Curse errors. <laughs> yeah, did I, did I misspell? Did I mispronounce? Or what? Arrow did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Arrow did. Yeah. Yeah, but no, I meant no, 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 no. I meant, I meant, I meant, I meant. After c five takes, takes, takes. Rook d one takes, 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 takes. My queen is on c five. Queen d eight, queen f eight. It wasn't the pawn, guys. It's yeah. It's it's a queen. It's in 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 advance. It was a calculation in advance. So it's okay. It's okay. I think knight d5 is fine. Maybe bishop d2 was better, I'm not sure. But I think knight d5 I'm not blundering anything. Because take, 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 I'm goog. And take, 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 queen e3, I get queen e5. Or knight d7, so I think I should be good. And if we just trade this, these pawns, I mean, I'm just a healthy pawn up. I'm doing great, Pookie, thank you. I'm doing very good. Okay, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm very good. I didn't play the first game very well, I was better, it was like plus two. If I would find one move, I would be winning, but I didn't find it, and it was simple, I just won the bishop, but I was in time trouble starting here. And also quite good is that my opening is, I'm up on time. Oh my goodness. Ooh, 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 what is this? Hey, yo, what is that? Um, okay, happens, yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> this is um interesting but okay first of all i can just take cd i think and then cd just take take d5 take take and then maybe i'll be even two points up but um, maybe i can do something okay i mean i'm forced to take bc now let's think it's a voice of dark magic move exactly yeah but it feels like you missed something i don't know maybe you didn't though because you saw it for quite a while Some dark magic move, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I can take C D C D Rook C one Rook C one Bishop five E D. I'll be two points up, but they'll be doubled. His knight blocks them. Eh. If I go like ninety seven, he gets Rook B one and B seven. Eh. Hmm. What if I go knight C three? Uh. Tick, tick. If take, I take. And I take and like knight c5. But knight c3, dc, knight c5, queen c3 there. I need to hurry. 
Um, but okay, night C5, night B4, night B4, night B4, night B4. Uh, boom, a bam. Okay, I will always have night C5, and I can be worse. Uh, but night B4, DC, night C5, uh, no, DC, bam, boom, ah! Why can't I draw arrows? CB here, bishop B7, rook B8, he moves the bishop to C6, both the knight hang, and that looks... Quite rough, I think. Oi. It doesn't look too good there. And my time advantage just vanished. Oh, good. I can end before night's And a queen before. Straight everything. Can I fight? Ah, that looks rough. And on time, I waste all my advantage. This would be easy with that, exactly. Well, I can like pressure him into taking, right? Because 96 rook a8. So why should why can't I play here? Because take rook a8. Think I'm not blundered and then I just win either a piece. And yeah. 96 like rook b2 94 go going for something the 96 maybe i should like play rook b6 because oh it goes here oh my goodness this guy is very creative wow <laughs> this guy is super creative he just like found a way how to simplify <laughs> and now 9 b3 takes a6 <laughs> wow this guy is insane Oh my goodness, wow. That's insane. Yeah, and the 96 is just a draw. <laughs> That's crazy. Mm, I don't know. Can you... S 8? Yeah, for 94 was insane. I think if not 94, it should have been much better, I think. Yeah, but knight c4 was completely ridiculously crazy move. Yeah, well found from him. I mean, I created a weakness. I'll try. Knight... 87, I mean, just gotta try. f5 is a probably just simplifies. Or this. Yeah, it felt like I again let the advantage slip. I'm not sure though, maybe I haven't had the advantage. Just take king seven and take. Yeah, why? Yeah, I played quite nice. Yeah, and then this uh, rook a five was also another very nice move. The problem is just gonna g seven. At least from how he was playing the whole... No. Or king d5. Can I somehow push without risking? I don't think so, because it's a dead draw. Oh, yeah. Let's just check. Oh, they try to flag me. That's the thing, because he may get tempted and, like, go for something crazy. No. Another game, Sizzle Goop. Good game. Uh, was I better? That's the question. Probably. I was plus three. Ay ay ay, bishop g2 and king g2, then knight d5. And then somehow I'm plus 5. 
And this knight c4, I'm still plus 3. I have to find knight f4. Oh my goodness, okay. I was like winning. Aye, aye, aye. But I didn't feel like plus 5 for sure. Take, take, and I'm... Yeah, okay, on material it's equal. But I have this outside passer. Not in the game, it was a draw. Yeah, interesting. It didn't feel plus 5 though. Okay, bishop here. But like... I thought it just takes. I mean, sure, I'm a pawner, but it didn't feel that I'm plus five. Wow. And then BC knight f4, crazy move as well. Though knight c3, I was considering knight c3, I think. And bishop between x said to go e5. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. Okay. Ah, and now, yeah, it's, it was a crazy game, wow. I totally general you were correct. Oh, in the previous game somehow analyzed. Okay, so I had momentums where it was plus three where I had to find rook c2, but rook c2 is hard to find-ish. It's like, especially in time trouble, rook b1 felt much more human, but it just threw the advantage and bishop b1 was stable. Okay, interesting game, yeah. Mm, so three nil for him and three nil nil for me. So, but surprisingly, I played the opening, like, perfectly. I played, like, everything very, very well. Until move 20 here, I had to take bishop g2. But I thought 95 was forced. I, I mean, I, I played, like, 95, and I thought, okay, I hope bishop g2 wasn't better. Uh, it was much, much better. Bishop g2 just would be, like, winning-ish. I'm a two pawns up, but yeah. I'm pawn up. And here I go find knight f4. And then take, take. It's somehow plus three, you know, but no. Mm, crazy. I mean, some lines are just engine lines. Uh, and I'm just would be plus two because of a pawn. Yeah. Bishop g2 and x go for a5 and then try to push this position. But yeah, it's already has huge chances for a draw. And after this, I tried my best, but it was a draw. Rosarim Snizzle Goop. Okay, okay. And then it's Polo Patatin. It was 5 3 2 for him and 1 2 4 for me. So I played the opening well as well. Okay, instead of bishop e7, I should have went d4. And he should have went f5. And after I take... Uh, take knight d5, long side castle, knight e7. And after knight g3, it would be better because of these two weaknesses. Okay. Uh, this is this. It was equal. Yeah, it was pretty equal then. I, I, I was in long time, I found some way how to squeeze some advantage here. Go for bishop a7. Yeah, not giving him... a tempo with rook d1, hitting my bishop, here I'd go for rook d8, I should have went bishop d4, and then a4, this here I'd go for knight d3 would be an easy, quite an easy draw, because he just takes a4, just a draw, rook c5, and a draw, because rook h5, this I'd go for rook c2, he'd go for rook b6, I'd go for rook c2 again, and then I was playing well, and then I just blunted bishop, I was like way too interested in winning an opponent, just completely blunted everything, which should be one, yeah, and then I lost, the game Polo Patatin. Yeah, d4, mm, then bishop a7, then bishop d4, rook c2, rook c2, and like bishop g7, king of 5, whatever. Yeah, and for him, f5, rook h5, no, rook, what was it? Uh, rook d8, yeah, then knight d3, and knight rook b6, and king h7, king h6, rook h1. Pretty much anything wins, I think. King of six, not that. Taking six. Yeah, and against this little group, I was better with the bishop g2. I was like winning after bishop g2 computer says. Uh, but, uh, oh, I already got an opening. Play against accidental genius mm. A little bit lucky, so I don't know. I got three blacks in order today, that's interesting. Mm, okay. Mm, okay, let's go. See if I doesn't get d5 here. And then knight c3, right? Um, so I think he played b6. I'm not sure. I think b6 is a fine move. Though he gets e4, but then like h6. I'm not sure. And then like g5, the idea, right? Uh, so e4, h6, bishop h4. I think I get g5, bishop g3, knight e4, you win a pawn. And if he takes f6, I think I take and I should be fine. But yeah, against this will go this bishop g2 and then knight f4. You had to understand that you are not winning a pawn, but you're winning because of check agreement. <laughs> yeah, but you're winning because of this outside passer, which is quite hard to understand. 
but okay, it's fine. Queen's Indian, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm not a fan of b6, even though, uh, yeah, okay, I think h6 now he takes, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe I should have played b6. I'm not sure how you play. I think like d6, something like that. Okay, but should be 7, d6, or d6, but should be 7. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, 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 uh. Maybe I should put my... Uh, it should be 7. <coughs> um, I think now I play like d6, if I'm not mistaken. Because I checked this line a while ago. And if my memory didn't mix it up. Because maybe I shouldn't have played b6, I should have played h6. Make him take and play d6, bishop d7, and get knight on c6. I'm not sure. Uh... Uh, 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 uh. So now I think I go knight bd7 and then maybe I can get c5. Because if I get c5, queen d8, bishop e 7 yes, like bishop of 6 I think I should be pretty okay. c5, he gets e5, d, e, d, no, I think I should maybe just return with my queen, or maybe play e5. If d, e take, if d, e take, take, I'm fine, and d5, I get like bishop e, no, I'll actually play e5. I know it's probably not a good move. But I like it. I guess if I get e5, it feels a little bit uncomfortable. I miss this goop. Okay. Maybe I'll play him sometime again. Uh, bishop e7. Bishop e6. It's not nice. Maybe I should have played a6, preventing bishop a6. I think if he won't play bishop a6, I'm going to play a6. Yeah, please, bishop b6. Then my light squares are going to be awful this game. Mm, I mean, I can't do anything, so I take the castle, I guess. I should have played a6 instead of bishop b7. I was too tempted finishing the development, but a6 sometimes prophylaxis is very important, guys, you know. And then because he cannot really make me two moves, so bishop is yeah, a6 would be a very nice move. But okay, it still should be quite okay. So light squares will be weak. Well, no, there is nothing I can do about it now. Okay. Huh. Because I think if I get like c6 takes 94, 95, I think I should be okay. Because then, because right now my dark, uh, light squares are just weak of here. And if I play c6, I will already protect four of these, right? So, and I mean, here these dark squares are hard to do anything with, so it's, it's okay. But though a6 prophylaxis would have been very nice to play. Okay, rookie one. Should I play c6? I'm not sure. Always play a6. I played h6. So I'm already halfway to the victory, right? Totally journal. I think rook fd8 though, for now. Because now c6, he may get queen b7 stuff. So I think it would be nice to say bye bye to his queen. And uh, if he plays queen d3, I'll of course play a6. Because so the light squares aren't weak anymore. Knight of one, he wants to regroup his knight to either there or there. I think queen e6, knight of six, bishop of eight is a nice regrouping as well, though. So queen e6 and knight of six. If he plays d5, I just get queen g6. If knight is three, knight of six. Uh, knight of five, bishop of eight should be okay. e4 is, can be a weakness. Sorry. Yeah, if I take, take e4 can be a weakness. Um, and... He doesn't get knight d5, and I can always be extra safe and play c6. So I think queen e6 is a good move. I'm not sure. Like, no water left. Knight g3. Is g6 worth making, actually? Because I prevent. Yeah, I think it actually is worth making. Because. 
he cannot really, I think, at the moment, uh, make anything crazy with his weakened pawns, right? And if I get like king g7 or king h7, or I drop my bishop to g7, these pawns are just more perfect, right? And now if, now if he wants to get his knight to h3, he needs to waste two tempers. And I get knight f6, and he doesn't get knight e3 because e4 ranks. So I think g6 is a nice move restricting this knight. Because if knight e3, I think I should have played knight f6 because Knight f5, I can always see move my bishop, right, and get g6. But if I play g6, I get knight d5, but I can c7. Eh, what do you mean? Not so nice. But I'm, I'm quite happy with the position, even though. Even though this squid is so annoying, I'm still quite okay with the position. Da, 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 da. Maybe at some point I can even get h5, gaining more space. Maybe it will be useful in the end game. If he takes, I think I'm gonna take with a knight. So then take, take, or maybe I'll take with a pawn, knight c5, knight c3. Yeah, a4, nice move with the idea of a5. Uh. Should go knight f6. Quite interesting, yeah. I think I'll go knight f6. a5, I think queen b3 is a nice move. Maybe I can even take with a queen if needed. Ah, but then the pawn hangs. But still, a5. I use d5. Whoa. Huh, interesting. So, I mean, d7 is the only square for my queen. Because I don't want a queen trade. Uh, well, I haven't, I definitely wasn't waiting d5. Interesting. Yeah, he wants to play on queen side. So what's the point of queen d3? I just get a6, a5, b5? What's the point of queen d3? If you play d4, like a4 was saying a, right? And then a5 says b, so queen said like, nah. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can riot, I'm not gonna suck my queen. Now my bishop is quite bad here, so I think regrouping it to f8, or to g7, sorry, would be a nice idea. And if he gets a5, if I get b5, b4, c6 should be quite fine. Yeah, right, don't worry, it's okay. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I don't mind if you're right. And b5, I think, is a nice move. Because, like, ba, rook a5, this is a weakness. Sure, you get this, but I think, like, rook fb8, if cb, rook b5, these two can hang uh, quite hard. So, it's interesting. And, like, b3, I can take c6. Yeah. Because his knights are somewhat... Knight on g3 is misplaced, I think. Um, and, and, b3... I go b4. <laughs> I thought b3, I could play like c5. The idea if one cross on, I'm good, right? If he doesn't, then I get bishop d8 and this thing. So b4 is a nice move, guys. I think from him. Uh, quite good. But still, I think I can play c6. I think I should be quite fine. Ah, c6, c5. c5 is a threat. So maybe I shouldn't play that. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this. If queen c7, rook b7. If takes, takes, and b4 is a huge, gigantic, enormous weakness. And takes rook b7, queen c6, I take, take rook b4, rook c8, I think I should stop this pawn. Yeah. Or maybe I can even take b4, actually. And rook b1, take, I'm fine. And otherwise, he's not, he has to spend more time regrouping his knight because, yeah, somewhat. Terrible place. Or that, which I may, may have not have missed. Um, the idea is if he takes and he gets this, and my rook hangs. Sack, yeah, was a pawn sack. Unintentionally, but okay. It's fine. Uh, nice move though, queen c2. Missed that. I guess rook a b8. Seeing which rook will he move. If this, then, uh, I'm not sure. I guess I can play like queen d7 or something. Yeah, I move that rook. Uh, yeah, maybe it wasn't a good idea after all. Because right now it looks just looks like I'm a pawn down. But okay, queen d7, queen c6, rook b4. Eh. If queen c4, rook b5, queen b7. Yes, the idea is this. I want to regroup and then triple up. So then I push with my rook. So like my rook is the battle ram. Uh, and he wants to break the pawn. And if queen c6, rook b4, I can suck this. I think if I trade the queens, right? Queen c6, take a rook b4, 
take queen e6 like queen b7 take take a6 rook a7 rook a1 uh 97 85 i should be quite fine i took check what's up uh, but yeah i mean even though i'm a pawn down hi gucci pigeon welcome everybody how is everyone doing uh yeah so he does this take take queen b7 going to okay that's nice uh, I'm gonna take, take, and I think queen b7, queen b7, rook a1, I regroup my knight, if knight d2 though, what if he regroups his knight, huh? Dun dun, bom 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 bom, rook, maybe bishop d8? Ay. Let's see, four. Maybe I should play bishop d8 actually, hold on. So I still, I put the pressure already. He probably will go like knight d2. Uh -huh. Knight d2 is unpleasant, I. Bishop d8, I'm somewhat pinning his queen right to the pawn. But go queen e4. Queen e4 makes, I mean, it makes sense with through b5 right here. Maybe actually queen e4 is a nice move. Uh, this and push though, not sure, but I get through b6. I'm gonna try queen a4 actually. I'm putting pressure here. If like queen e8, king g7 or bishop f8, a6 rook b6 and this one hangs if i take this pawn i mean i can be i think i cannot really be worse i put my knight on c5 it should be quite good so and also e4 hangs so maybe at some point i can take e4 and right now my idea is just playing rook b5 simply wins spawn and rook c1 probably i'll take or rook b5 maybe it's just fine to play rook b5 i'll see oh h4 nice move gaining space actually um mm, and rook b5 he wants to get h5 i think aha uh -huh. nice nice idea wow and if i play h5 i think i should play h5 i create g5 as a weakness but uh, here check the ah uh, maybe not this rook b5 queen c8 bishop f8 Queen c7, and then the pawn hangs. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the h4 is a great move. Which is rook b5 take? Queen d8. Yeah, okay, let's go rook b5. Allow him this, take, queen d8 should be okay. I think. I'll take, okay, he does this. Aha! Sneaky! This guy's playing very well. One of your opponent's move was on purpose or whether it was an accidental genius. Yeah, yeah. King g7. Ugh. Didn't really, okay, this. Oh my goodness. Wow, so now if I go ruby 6 it's queen c7. So I should go rook a5, I guess, or? Oh my goodness, this guy's so good. Ugh. Position is, is quite bad. Quincy said Rook A five Quincy seven. I mean okay, I think I should try Rook A five. I hope I don't blunder anything in one move. <laughs> and if I don't then I'll do it. I'll play it. I already played it so yeah. But I think, I mean, maybe I'm just completely missing some very strong moves as well, but I think this guy finds some very nice moves. It's very good for him. Yes, this. Knight g8, I was thinking. Because, like, knight g8, h5, I take a6, take, take. 
it's rough, but it's playable, I think. Because if I would play bishop f8, h5, rook a6, hg, I have to take with the king. I think knight eight is a fine move, though, hopefully. And take, so I take with this. Uh, rook a6. Yeah, if takes, takes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, it looks okay. Not sure if I can tell more than that, but it looks okay. <laughs> And also, we turn the clock. It's quite nice. But as we saw from previous game, clock could vanish and vanish. vanish. Uh, rook a7. Yeah, because otherwise, like, rook b7 can be unpleasant. Might is just like, go queen d7, knight f6, and then uh, start playing chess again. So you want to go queen c6? I'm not sure. Queen 6, 6 to take, rook 7 rook b6, rook 6, knight e7. Ah, bishop d8. So ruby seven get ninety seven. He gets queen queen c three, queen d seven though. I think it should be fine. I thought I land by then I get knight of six. It should be okay. Um, I, I think it's also good. Uh, gonna be good now to play some quick moves without like much thinking because he has less than a minute now already on the clock. So uh, time pressure would be good. Yeah, let's play knight of six. Queen c eight. Is he sure that's good for him though? Because take rook a1, knight e4? Isn't this a free pawn? And then d5 is a enormous weakness as well. Let's play king f7. Okay. Why would a pawn? Now that I can play rook e2 and win this pawn. I just. I think actually rook e2 is a good idea. Or maybe actually not. Because say knight a3. Rook f2, 95 takes d6. I cannot take and I cannot take. Uh, so maybe I should just go like rook d1. Or I go, no, rook e5 allows this. Uh, mm. Mm, okay, and I, I'm already so for a while. Oh my goodness. Or just go knight f6. I don't know why I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> so knight f6. It's a simple move. Rook e2, knight e3, rook f2, knight e5 was tricky. That's why I didn't like it. And I think... Oh, but I wanted this! Mm, why? why, why, why? I'm, now I blundered knight e5. <laughs> okay. Let's see if you'll see it. He's thinking for a while. Yes, he will. But he doesn't have much time left. Yeah, he played it. Here, better than my... <laughs> yeah, yeah, but it's not good that I missed that. But he has 15 seconds, so should be okay. Well, let's focus on the position, not on the clock. Let's just make good moves, and then it should be good. What's up, Logan, by the way? How are you? Dirty flag. <laughs> I'll try. Knight c6, I think it's good to improve my knight. King f7. Let's go knight f5 right now. King f5. e4. Check in g4 the training. So it's not so dirty anymore. <laughs> King f3. Which one do I take? I think I'll take this one. Oh no, wait, I take this one. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this one. Uh, it's fine. G5. G4, King F3. Like, quite shaky, I blundered. I mean, I was thinking, I was thinking, like, literally how to not blunder 95, and then I blundered. I wanted him accidentally genius MM. That was funny. I was, like, thinking for a minute after that how, what to play to not blunder 95 when I blundered. Just play rookie 1, I'm two points up. Uh, that's much better. Knight F6, yeah, 95, it's a draw. Uh... 
Yeah. Rook d1, this rook d5. Completely. Completely winning. But knight of 6, he was draw, but then he already blundered in a one anyways. Uh, please can you explain? I am not good enough. Yeah, so basically it's the idea of knight d5, right? Because knight if I play rook d1, I would just play win the pawn and I'm better. And now knight d5 doesn't work because d6, and I can take either with the knight or with the rook, right? But as I play knight f6, now knight e5, and then takes, takes d6, and I cannot take with my knight. So I have to play this, and it's a completely drawn enemy, but then he blundered. So I played 1 nil 2 Yeah, I didn't play bad. Rook a5, I was lost, actually. Uh, I should have played h5, would be fine. Okay. Mm. So puzzles. Okay, let's see what's up. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, it was shaky realization, but I just blunted. Okay. Was it why? Why was it ninety six? I don't know, I did. But ninety six queen game should be five. I get g five. So queen of six. If he Six, I get bishop c5. Ah, uh, okay. I, oh, wow, that's a nice one. And I promote dc. Okay, let's see this. Let's do that. Max analysis. Blindfold duck puzzle rush. Nah. Okay, it's plus three. So it should be winning. But it's still tricky. About here, max analysis. It should be winning, but it's not so easy to win. Okay, then it's winning. Yeah. Oh my goodness, so uh, I have one pawn which is one step away from promoting and he has like three pawns which are very close to promoting as well. That's quite scary, you know. Mm. But... Uh, C7 is to king C1. My idea is just to promote D2 here. D2 C8, I get C1. It's gonna be a crazy puzzle, I can feel it. But. Yeah. Oh, wait, I get queen C3. Ah, but then he gets can eat. Ah! Rook f1 first. Rook f1, king g2. c7. Ah, that looks scary. I mean, c7 he can take c8 e3 and no matter where i go he checks me and he promotes next move oh crazy puzzle i mean c7 feels like it has to be played because as we see it's like rook d8 uh, i'm not sure though or rook f1 rook f4 but then e3 king e3 rook f4 king f4 d2 he promotes h1 i don't think so i think i'm gonna play c7 it's correct okay so this oh maybe i play king d1 d2 i take Rook d2 c8. Eh, I mean, I don't know. He takes, he checks, takes a2. Mm, questionable. Maybe it is good though. King d1. But if I want to escape the checks, uh, looks quite terrifying. But okay, king c3 isn't good. It's either king c1 or king e1. Uh, king c1 d2. I need to rook d2 now. Was in rook d2. Yeah, but king e3. I guess I just take g7. Um, okay, and what is up here? Can I just take e8? I guess he gets a6. Mm, 94. f6. Okay, but I have to take. Um, wait a sec, but this, boom, and queen e4? Okay, 
Okay, that was a simple one. <laughs> um, okay. So king g8 that I lose. King h7. Uh, maybe I should go here. Now knight f5, queen c7, queen h6 is there. Ah, okay. Queen h6 is his threat. Okay, his main threat is queen h6, I think. Hey, Johnny, thank you. We go bishop g2. Two king king here I take and if king g4 king g4 king g4 king g4 king g4 rook d4 rook a4 rook a4 king a4 queen c7 king g4 queen c4 yeah I think that wins no? yeah I take I'm two pieces up it should be good oi what do we have here? Should I play b6 or c7 first? Because I don't think anything else is good. But b6 or c7 looks good. c7? No, c7 he just takes. So unless it's something else, it has to be b6. Rook d6, then c6. Yeah, b6. Yeah. Uh, b7, d2, c7, rook a, d7, rook 5, d7, take, take, it's lost. c7, rook 5, d7, c, d, rook d8, b7, rook d1, eh. Ah, okay, let's see. What's your life rating? It's 2331, but I lost like 50 swing. The turn my own plate, so it will be like 22, 22, 78 or something. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. C7. Right, C7, look, A, D7, take, take. B7, right? But then D2. Uh, rook d1. Am I missing something? No. It's not c7. Or, or I play b7, d2, and then just go rook a1. And then takes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, take, take. Then, okay, I have to trade the bishops. Now, his idea is king c5, king d6, f5, f6, uh, winning, king d6, g5, f6, uh, 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 it should be winning, if king d3 though, or if he just stands and waits, or what if I play f5, right, g, G5, take, take, boom, king d3, king f5, winning, g6, take, I'm winning, f5, boom, boom, and king c5, king f4, king d6, d4, king d6, this, 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 winning, take, take, king d5, king f4, king c6, boom, 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 ah, f5, take, take, boom, here, if he takes, I take, king, nah, then he, t mm. Maybe g6? No. It was the last tournament. It was in Poland, in Warsaw. It still didn't... didn't... It should be in like two days on FIDE. Uh, f5, gf, king f5, king d5, king f4, king c6. King c6, king, 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 king f5, king b6, g6, takes, takes, king a6, h5, king b5, h4, a6, hd, I'm losing. I think. Crazy, so it's... Hard to calculate. What if I go g6? g6, g5. Huh, the thing is, right? g6, g5, take, oops, take, take. King f6, king d5, king g6, win if a, boom. So g6, f5, take, take, here I have pass through. It's g6. Uh, and now. Uh, okay, 
Okay, what if I play f5? He's not in time to catch me. f5, take here, take, take, king d5, king f5. Should be f5. Eh, should be f5. And king f5, king f6. Yeah, that was a nice one. A lot of calculation was required. That's why I like puzzles. Mm, yeah, it was a lot of variations, but it was very nice. GG, thank you, Journey. What if I just play bishop e3 and then like h takes two? Because like fe, queen f2, draw, queen f8, queen f8, bf8, king f8, fe, I lose. Bf8, queen f2, draw. Or maybe I even lose after queen f8. So, e. Okay. e7 here. fg. Here, mm. <laughs> I'm sure. E seven G three. If Queen G three, Queen G three is with check, so I take Bishop E seven. I'm losing. Oh well, maybe not losing, but much worse. I think. Uh what else do we have? Bishop C five now. Oh, maybe it's actually Bishop C five. It's unlikely, I think, because A G of G Queen E two. He at least has a draw, and if Queen G three, Queen G three is with check, I take Bishop C five. I'm lost. So. Do I just take G takes H? I think so, no? Nope. Wasn't wasn't just G H, wasn't this either. It was this. And bishop of two. And then this king H2, he has no checks. Makes sense. Okay. Nice puzzle also. Didn't calculate deep enough though. So I failed. Mm. Okay, it feels like it has to be something like rook h6, you know? Uh, uh, uh. Rook h6, king h6. Queen h2, king g7. Rook g5, knight g6. Bishop d4, f6. Rook g6, tick, tick, yeah! Uh, uh, I don't know. Doesn't feel too good. Mm -mm. Bishop g5? Bishop g5, he gets knight g4. And the idea if I take, right? He gets rook e4, take, take. And then this, okay, bishop doesn't name, but I don't know, it doesn't look too great. Um. Uh -uh. Oh wait a sec. Take take rook d five. If this rook d five, this otherwise mate. No. And then rook d five. Nice. Um. Okay. Let's see what's up now. Queen d two threatening mate in one. Should be five. King b seven. King c five. D nah, d six. I'm not sure about d six. But I have queen e5 just made in one. So queen d2, what's he gonna do? Should be this bishop e5, I guess. It's just the only option. But then queen d6, can you move? Okay, I'll try that. Yes, but now king b7. Mate in one thread. King c5 takes. Okay, just does this. Okay. Yeah, nice puzzle solving. Six correct three failed. That's quite nice. Now, guys, you quickly have a look at the game between the Grandmaster Georgia Knight, which against line 9 and 2. And I'll be right back. See you in a minute, guys.
Right guys, I am back. So the plan, I'm just gonna analyze the games, then I'm also gonna show you a cool position. And then I'm gonna end the stream because yeah, I've played a lot of games life open and so I'm not gonna play Komodo today. But I'll play him tomorrow. So yeah, first let's analyze against Polo Patatin in in chess base. It's interesting. <laughs> okay. Share next port, download draw, boom. Draw will have to wait. I mean, I already made a handshake agreement against this sneasel goop, right? Um, so, yeah. There was already a draw handshake agreement. Well, let me find the sneasel one. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it was funny that today I played all games with black pieces. It was quite crazy. Like, all three games? Back to back to back with black. Um, okay. So I played for Vienna, but didn't really go for Vienna. Alright, black plays 94. It's a possibility, but... How oh, C6 a mistake? Huh? Into... Oh no, Joseph, but okay. You're back. But doesn't black play C6? 93 here? A D4 is there. Okay. So c6 is a mistake, right? It's an inaccuracy here. First you play bishop c5, then you include d3 and then c6, and then knight f3 is a d6 or d5, and then c quality. Makes sense. d3 was a mistake from him, actually. Yeah, he had to go for d4. Uh, that's not interesting, it was a mistake. Uh, d4 was the best, and then yeah, he just gets the center, and uh, bishop e7, e5, e5, d5, this, this, and eh, no, 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 just base wise, you so annoying. Queen d6, take, take, and after like knight, bishop d5 would be slightly better. Okay, d5, yeah, then I, then black gets a nice position. Uh, this, this, black gets a slightly better position. h6, I forced him to take. Uh, now though, that's a huge mistake, bishop e7. Black gets a better position because he played d4, and then like, and like knight b5. Here, here, black lawns a castle, then like bishop d6, f5, rook g8, attack, invite king, and black is slightly better here. Okay, f4, and queen d7 was another mistake. Okay, f4 was an inaccuracy, uh, an, an inaccuracy, an interesting move was d4, also gaining space, and also not allowing me playing d4. Then queen d7 takes, takes, knight d5, this, this, and he just ends up a pawn up. Um, okay. Queen d7, f takes e was a mistake for me. We had to go for f5, bishop b5, knight d5. This uh, knight g3, boom, boom, boom. Uh, queen f3 here, 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 and he is better. Yeah, because my pawns are very bad here. Okay, f e d4, I got a slightly better position. Uh, this, this, this. It's fine. Yeah, it's not really a huge inaccuracy, so. I'm gonna mark it as an inaccuracy, queen d3. d4, on the other hand, was an uh, uh, inaccuracy. I go for rook h8. Okay, just allow him knight d4, play queen c7, and then, yeah, get this passive position with equality. I want to push for a window. Uh, this was an inaccuracy back from him. He just said go for bishop f7. Yeah, I tried to be optimistic, and then this is, it would be slightly better. Richard was another inaccuracy back from me, at queen e, bishop e6, and then rook a1, king b6, b6, f e. Yeah, it's basic quality, pretty much. Because there, he won a pawn, he got a slightly more pleasant position. Do you hear about the new chess convention they made? Towards, I heard about it, but I haven't checked it out, to be honest. Uh, yes, then I got a slightly worse position, but bishop h5 was a mistake for me. We had to go for bishop to c4 with the idea of bishop d3, just blocking my pawn, and it would be better. Uh, because, yes, then d3, rook d d3, and even though I'm a pawn down, I got a pretty good position, to be honest. Then this, it's still equal, but it's already quite hard for him to find the equality. There's really an analysis, probably, I'm not sure. 
rook d3 g4 we are playing well this was an inaccuracy for me we had go for h4 rook b3 rook, go rook d1 a5 g5 takes takes with equality he brings his side back and it's fine rook b3 this that, that was yeah, even a bigger mistake here you go for like rook d1 then rook b2 sack the pawn go knight e4 and then pretty much with equality with compensation i'm gonna say a5 a5 this was another mistake here you go for knight to f5 and then a4 go h4 a3 g5 rook b2 king h3 take take mm, rook f2 here here king h5 and yeah i would be slightly better after rook f2 but it's still incredibly hard to win this bishop d4 was a mistake i had to go for bishop to a7 keeps the bishop as far away as possible so rook d1 is in this tempo then like knight g3 a4 knight a5 a3 uh, h4 rook d3 and it would be pretty much like almost winning okay so rook d1 bishop e5 this 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 bishop c3 boom here this that was a mistake from him he had to go for rook d8 and then bishop d4 knight e4 so his side gets e4 square d6 square i mean uh this this king c5 rook 8 and this is equality because it is the wrong color of the bishop and then he gets h4 with a draw it's still in development okay uh h4 was a mistake back for me i had to go for bishop d4 now d4 and rook a6 oh no the bottle cap fall okay whatever uh rook a6 king b4 uh, king before rook d6, then I just go like, let's see, rook b3, no, king b3, of course, I go, I go, I go, go bishop a5, this and I'm much better because the knight is just completely cut, and I'm almost winning, I think, already, um, yeah, I think I can even say I'm winning, because the best move for him is knight c5, but that's game over, feels blah, 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 all the time, yeah, yeah, move, but it's very talkative, then rook h6 was a mistake from him, he had to go for knight d3, rook h2, knight c5, this, 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 was just repeating and a draw, a3, boom, that was a huge mistake, that was a blunder for me, I had to go for rook c2, and then pretty much rook a6, a2, uh, with unstoppable when I'm winning, this was a blunder from him, he had to go for rook b6, here, rook b2, this, 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 we said draw. Mm, then rook b1 was a blunder back for me. I had to go for rook c2. And then rook a2, king a2. I'm just completely winning. Uh, knight c5, king b2, this. Maybe I should have just repeated and go for a draw, to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, that probably was my best bet, to be honest, just to go for a draw. But then I didn't, and then I made a huge blunder. Bishop b1, completely blunder my bishop. I had to go like king of five is draw, but I didn't have much time and I just landed simple rookie two. And this game, Polo Patatin, good game. Good game. Though it wasn't so good for me. Yeah, he played super fast and I sought a lot of time in the middle game. So in the end game, I didn't have much time and then I was like playing without thinking in the end game. And that's why. That's why I haven't. Oh my goodness, Jordan at Twitch got flagged by Lion992. Wow. Yeah, crazy. In a completely drawn position, bishop versus knight. It's unfortunate. Okay, now let's analyze the game against Snizzle Goop. Download draw. To be honest, I was quite happy with how I played this game. Because I'm not really sure how you play this with black. But yeah, okay, rook d1 is a mistake. I'm not sure if people play that actually. Okay, I'd go for a4 with slightly better position, of course. Going to the main line. Do people play rook d1 actually? Just interesting to see. Because I wasn't really sure. No yeah, okay, it's, it's not popular. It's in some other variation. I think rook d1 is super popular though. Where black sucks, the white sucks the pawn, then they get this b3. And yeah, okay, notation. Boom, boom. I think, I, I mean, yeah, probably I, I went for equality, but. I still think I played pretty well, then queen b6, knight d3, then this knight d7, rook d8, here, this, 
that was small inaccuracy here to play b4 just fix everything and then they are here a5 so pretty much this pawn is like the same as these two pawns and it's just equality after knight b1 because yeah this the, the b4 pawn somewhat counters because the bishop is also terrible so the pawn counters and usually what happens i think black sacks these two pawns for this one pawn and then soon after they agree for the draw okay 95 queen e1 c5 Queen e1 was actually a mistake, he had to go for queen b2 with the idea of playing b4 and then after rook e8 it would just be slightly better but it would have been nothing too crazy. That's, yeah. C5 that was another mistake, he had to go for just yeah, he had to take and then accept the fact that he's playing a this worse endgame than play knight b5, queen b5 this this, this, I would be two pawns up and I would be much better. Because knight f6, if I was another mistake, he again had to take. Uh, take, 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 rook d1, take, take, this. Yeah, that's what I was calculating, he would be much better. I calculate that, he played d5, and I played knight d5, which was already a slight uh, step in the wrong direction. He had to take, uh, I had to take, 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 and then take, 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 take. And then because of this good outside passer, king g1, this, I am much, much better. I win it. I still don't feel like it's plus four, to be honest. Don't keep saying, to be honest. That makes you just think what you were saying. All right. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, and uh, 94, and this was good. And then knight b4 was a mistake, I had to go for knight f4 with the idea so then takes takes i don't know how it's still plus two i think it's somewhat stock fishy to evaluate this position as plus two in my opinion uh because here yeah, knight c5 take take in g2 i'm not even a pawn up but but i'm better i don't know it's plus two but it doesn't feel plus two Uh, so, yeah, and then d takes c takes takes this bishop d2 was another inaccuracy. We just got into the draw. I had to go for a5, and I still have some some advantage. Knight c6, rook a8 would be slightly better, uh, but it's still very hard to win. a4 with a better position, slightly better, but knight d4 take take with slightly better. Position of the g5. But yeah, I played bishop to them, we traded everything, and then and it was a draw. The rim stays will go. Yeah, but bishop g2, it just didn't feel like it's that winning as Stockfish says. It didn't feel plus 5 at all, you know? And then this also, I'm not even a pawn up, but I'm plus 3. Sure, I have this outside passer, but. But yeah, it felt like he should, could have stopped it quite simply. But yeah, okay. Uh, I saw something like knight f4, but I just didn't think it's very good, but it was very good. And now against Accidental Genius MM, was an interesting game. Mm, download draw, I played 1-0-2, he played 4-0-3. Um, it was it was very weird, so it's just another level, exactly, yeah. Because I'm not even a pawn, but it says plus 2, crazy. Um, so yeah, bishop g5, I don't think his people play b6 usually. It is possible, but usually people play h6, and then after takes, takes e4, something like, yeah, either d6 and then g5 with equality. The human can reach it, yeah, that is very true. Bishop g3, again, stockfish says go g5. <laughs> stockfish says go g5. Uh, then you go bishop b7, and then you go knight c6, and then after knight bd2, you go h5. No, but that's crazy, with equality. Uh, interested. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, I played bishop b7, which is human, I think. Uh, d6 was an inaccuracy, I should have developed like this, g6, rook e1, bishop g7, a4, a6, and some sort of a hedgehog, right? Queen e2. Uh, queen e7, knight bd2, d6, this is with a draw. Yeah, makes sense. Knight bd2, mm -hmm. if I force a mistake from me, 
I had to go for g6. I had to develop the bishop. I, I, I even haven't considered developing the bishop from that way, to be honest. Uh, rook b8 takes takes, and then rook a7, castle with a draw. I wanted, uh, do you think any human would ever... I don't think so. I mean, it's possible, but like I think in like one in a hundred, if some human, or maybe one in a thousand scenario. He would for bishop b6 immediately, because I wouldn't have time to castle, and then ed, queen b7, he would be better. Bishop b7 was, I think, another in axi. I should have played g5. And then a5, and then a4, and I would be in knight fd2, h5 equal. Okay, bishop b6, takes, takes, castles. Mm -hmm. Castle here. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, this, this, this. Yeah, I'm not saying inaccuracies because like from zero two to zero four isn't really an inaccuracy in my opinion. I get c five. Interesting. Like queen b five. Nah, the battle close. Thank you. This, this, this. Then I blundered slash sacked upon. This takes takes. It was equality. Though this is an inaccuracy, I should have played rook a4 with the idea of either going here or like that. And then, yeah, I didn't like knight d2 though. But this, knight c4, ah, uh, bishop a5, nice move. Queen c7, h4, h5, and I'm slightly better. Makes sense, nice move. I play queen e4, this, uh -huh, that was another inaccuracy. I should have went king, h, king g7. And after h5, just take. I mean, that's very fearless. And then this, this with a draw. Okay. You can see it. King g7, a6. That was a big mistake. I should have played h5. Allowing him to go knight g5. But then I get rook b2. Only move. Queen c7, knight g8 with a draw. Because if he goes like queen a queen c8 or something, I get rook c2. Very computer line, but it's very interesting. Uh, queen c7, this, and here there was a big mistake from him. Here we go for rook b1, and then if I take the idea is rook b8, and if I do nothing, say do something like this, right? Okay, rook a7, yeah, his threat is like queen c8, or if I go like rook a8, over right, he gets rook g8, and then he is completely winning here, because his knight's much better than my rook. Thanks for watching my channel. <laughs> Which I was <laughs> okay, Joseph. Okay, yeah. So I should have played rook c5, stock with chess, and then uh, queen a7. This, this bishop f6, and at f1 he would be much better, almost winning to be honest. Yeah. And then I played rook a6. This I already got equality. This, this. Then you also offered a queen trade, which was a huge mistake. He had to go for like any move, pretty much queen c6. We said draw, because queen c take take this. I took e4. This. King f7, g3. Now that was a huge blunder. I was thinking for a minute what to do to then to win a pawn, but also not to move my knight to f6. Say, yeah, I was thinking rook d1, but then I don't know why I just didn't like this position being two points up. I'm completely winning. I played knight f6 and I blundered knight d5, d6. Then it was equal, but then fortunately he thought so much about knight e5. He left himself like no time at all. And then, um, Rook b8 was a blunder. He had to go for knight f5 with just a pretty relatively simple draw. I would have dirty flagged him, but still. Hi, Salma, how are you doing? Uh, but yeah, he played this, this, king f5, king f3, e4, this rook here, boom, 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 king f3, bim, bam, boom, bim, boom, 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 and here he forfeited on time, but he was completely winning. And then he makes it an genius mm. Yeah, it was a nice game, it was quite, quite unusual, but yeah, now I know that you play like d6, b6, g6, and you, and a6, so you get like a hedgehog. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yosef, <laughs> oh, for Yosef, oh, Yosef posted the link, <laughs> Yosef, yeah, A6 was important, exactly, to the journal, journal, Yosef, ay, 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 I'm fine, Peshka, that's nice.
Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna play Komodo, but what I'm gonna do, uh, not import game, board editor, I'm gonna show you a cool position. White kidney city here, 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 and here. Why to move? I copy the same. Yeah, exactly. Where's Zach? I don't think so. I get married. Very nice. I think Zalma, you got married like three months ago already, you know? But still, congrats. Um, so guys, why to play? There are two moves how to draw, but uh, there is the same idea. So yeah, it was in a very famous game. Um, so guys, what do you think is the best move for white? You have like three minutes, so take your time. E5. Not telling you anything, guys. You need to say first two moves. You need to say first two or three moves, not just one. It's a little bit difficult. Not just one, guys. You have nothing to win. Not sure you're winning. Just queen d5. Alone, Logan. It's not legal. Okay, queen g5. <laughs> there you go, Logan. <laughs> Hold on, wait, 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 sorry, guys. Uh, why to play? Uh, king d4. I'm not telling. No, but king d4 is one move. You need like a, sec a sequence on how to draw with white. Two or three moves. I can take on h3 with force my force. Yeah. Is there a queen? I placed the queen, but I removed it. <laughs> no, there was no queen. Um, Ah, but can I move back to b1? I don't think so, I don't think so, sorry. Uh, I assume rook h6 first, then bishop e6. But rook h6, eh, interesting. But rook h6, king g7, and then you have to take with rook, but then h2 he promotes. It's a very tricky, very tricky, and very beautiful idea, guys. So if you don't find it, don't worry, it's okay. Hold on, let me check out something else. Hmm. Okay. It took a short day session, doesn't show the me position you set up. Ah, okay. Sorry. It should be six. King d4, e5, king e3. No, but king d4, why, why would he play e why would he play e5 blocking his own protection of the pawn, right? Because king d3, his idea is to push, but he literally blocked himself voluntarily. e5, duck h2. Yosa, but what is the second move after king e6? If you say two two question two x x lambs, then what's after king e six? Huh? I love this puzzle. Very beautiful, in my opinion. No, but king d4 is in the stalemate. What do you mean? He, you still have a pawn and you also have king c4. No, 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 no. Bishop e6, this, 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 this. You can move your king and your pawn. No, king d4 is in the stalemate, guys. No, 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 no. He can even mate you, bishop e5. No, it's not, no, no, it's not bishop e6, rook h3. King d4 is in stalemate. 
It's out of my chest. <laughs> no, don't worry, guys. If it happens, it happens. It happens. Don't worry. No, it's not how to make a fortune to the journal. But you get in there. That's the only hint I'm gonna give. No, it's it is totally normal chest of the journal. Alright guys, do you still wanna sink or do you want me to reveal the solution? Let me know. One if you st uh, write one if you still wanna sink, write two if you want to reveal this me to reveal the solution. Think, okay. I'm thinking about stuff. Twelve. Wait, I'm calculating. Okay, don't worry, guys. Okay, okay. Through Q6, my final answer was is the first move. It's interesting, yeah. Now, Rook H6, in G7, you get nothing. Because Rook H4, he gets like Bishop now. Nah, he gets H2, it's good. King D4, hi, Sutherland. King D4, interesting. But would be very nice as if you write two first moves. Or three, a, a sequence how you can force a draw. I'm giving a small hint. It's a sequence. You also force very close, actually, in uh, ISA 10, A6, ER, were both very close, but a little bit. Can you force and draw for draw? No, can you force you're losing, I think. Can you force H2, you're lost. Maybe not H2. We need to do what? You need to, why to move and draw? I have a draw, you have a draw, yeah. King D4, I think, just loses... Oh, no. Mm. King D4 isn't a bad move, actually, I think, but I think it loses. But Bishop E6, King E6. <coughs> well, let me try to find out why it's not King D4. Ah, King D4 doesn't work. Does it? I'm not sure. E5, Bishop H4, Bishop E5, Rook H3, Rook H3. This he takes your rook. You still have your rook. No, but Bishop E6. What do you mean? Is it draw? No, but he goes King E7. How is it an easy draw? Rook H3, Rook C3, and his idea is H2. Tell them you'll check them perpetually <laughs> through a totally journal. But I say you're very close, like super close. You guys are on the right path. King e seven, king d four. No, but king e seven, king d four. King e seven, king d four. H two. H two. Uh, no, wait. Hold on, I should look h two. Wait a second, wait a second. No, E. Or maybe even E5, right. No, but uh, maybe it actually, maybe it actually draws. Yeah, most likely it actually draws. But ISA found the correct the, the solution I was hoping. King e4 five. No, king king d4 e5. I don't think you really want to play e5 because now say king d3 and then this pawn falls right and the bishop cannot protect it. So I think black doesn't play e5. I'm not sure. Let me check. Black plays rook c2. That happened in the game, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Something like this happened. Yeah, this exactly. King d4, rook c2 happened in the game. But I'm sure rook c, this rook h6. Rook h6 also draws. Uh, but but the thing I wanted to give is this, this, and now bishop e6. 
And the idea is now that this rook h3, rook c3, king e4, rook h3 is a stalemate. But rook h6 also draws. Yeah, I found it. Yeah, good job. Good job, Aral. Uh, nice job, yeah. I remember that this was the solution. And king d4, that, that was a very famous game. It was in this global chess league, Magnus versus Nepo. And I think Nepo played this, then bishop e6, but after bishop e5, Magnus grinded it out after h2. I think. Maybe it wasn't this, though. Uh, but it was something like that. But it, important that rook c2 and this bishop e5. So now if king e3 you take, rook here you win. And if king d5, rook d2, and now the bishop hangs, or well, it has to waste time, and then rook d1. Like bishop g4, you go rook f2, and white, black will go on to win. But, yeah. Here rook h6 draws with e5, or actually king d7, yeah, king d4, and then rook h3 is unstoppable. Good job, oral. Good job, also. Uh, good job, ISA. And... Yeah, and if king e5, if king e5, you can go rook h5 and then just trade the rooks, and it's an easy draw, and then just king g3, sack the bishop, king g3 with a draw, and if rook e5, you go king f3, you go king d4, and then bishop e6, and then another draw, because now you check him, and then you take, and then you get d5. So guys, GG's everybody. I hope you liked the puzzle. It was very cheeky. Uh, good job to everyone. I hope you liked it. What do you think? Did you like it guys or or there were some better ones? I think it was pretty cool. I like this type of study where cheeky dif difference. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because if I, I, I thought I remember that bishop e6, this, this is the same, but then there is uh, rook e5 is checked first of all. There is also rook c3, bishop c5. It's very different. Was cool, meh. Okay. Yeah, I liked it though. Uh, I think I have one or two more, uh, but not for today. So yeah, I haven't played Commander, but I played three real, uh, real opponents. I think it was quite good. I like to go for the win. Yeah, no for eight six or eight six. I would like a different puzzle. Okay, yeah. Understand, guys. Understand. But also, I like these studies where you find this very nice stalemates because there is also this rook and game, right? But well, uh, there is also this rook end game where hold on mm, I'm not sure but pretty much okay uh, don't judge the position king yeah pretty much if white is winning if it's black to move a uh, black is of course completely winning but also I like this stuff or maybe it was on third yeah it was on the third rank hold on uh board editor here so let's say the position was something like this right um e hold on no wait let, let me let me find out so king d4 King d4 and then black, I don't know why, decided to play, say black decided to play rook h3. Oh no, that doesn't work. Hold on, I'm, I'm messing up. Huh. Wait a second. What am I doing? But pretty much the idea is that... Is that... Ah, the pawn should be here, right. Right, right, right. The pawn is here. Black, black pushes the pawn h3 and then white takes. And then you realize that black can, if they take it's a stalemate, and if rook a4 you just repeat, and then king d4, and then rook h3 is still a stalemate. Yeah, that is true. It was good, but I got lost in endless calculation. Yeah, it was a lot of calculation here. But okay, I think it was quite cool anyways. So, and also solve puzzles very well. 6 correct, 3 failed. Uh, up my rating. So I'm gonna end the same, guys. Thanks all for watching, everybody. Uh, go ahead and join the Discord to name me some Venal Sim and Water Sim. And you, everybody, and games are the hardest to understand. Very true, Joseph. So, take care, everybody. By Joseph, by Settlandine, by Karma, by Lorgan, by Totally Journal, by Manispers, by Oral Chess, by, by Totally Journal, by Isa, by Johnny D, by Marco Batman, by Zalmai, by Dr. Sassy Baka, by Angelo Santi, and everybody who was here. I really hope you liked the stream, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye. And yeah, 
Have a great rest of you. Even in Bye, Lejo, Chess. Take care. Yeah. Take care, everybody, and bye bye.